Hi everybody. Today we're going to learn how to create and manage structure pre-planning or fire pre-planning, our pre-plans for our fire department in Situation Analyst from Intera. It's easy. It works on a computer, a tablet, or even smartphone in your pocket. We make an app for iOS and Android, or you can do it on the web. Works on any device, and I bet I can teach it to you in two minutes. So here goes. I come into the system, I zoom in, I see my base map and buildings, and I have some choices, but basically I just hit add, add features and layers, and I want to, in this case, add structure pre-plans, and I have lots of choices, and this is as easy as clicking on the item I want to add and putting it where I want to on a map. I'll show you. A common thing that we do when we clear a medical call or something like that in our day-to-day is uh, we'll look around and see what there is. Sometimes I notice a new Knox box. I can just click on it and add it where I want it to go. It'll ask me a couple of questions. I can uh, answer those if I want. For instance, I could put uh, what was in the key box, uh, like a master key. And then I just save it. And that's it. I've put uh, a pre-plan in there with a Knox box. There's always lots of uh, things that I want to add. So maybe I found uh, some hazmat. I'm worried about exposures. I can click that. I know that there's a tank in this corner because I'm walking around with my crew. I can change and ask or answer any of these questions, like it's uh, flammable, uh, what kind of uh, health might be irritating, and that's good. When I do that, you can see it changed my NFPA 704 placard, and I can keep going. What do I want to add? Oh, maybe I found uh, some hazard or an alarm detector or my panels, any of those kinds of things. Commonly, I am going to care to control uh, utilities when I get there, so I can just add those. Same thing. I can just uh, change any of those things. I can. It always captures who put it in and when they did it, and then I can, uh, I can just save that stuff. Close it, and I'm done. So as you can see, that's very easy to do. Uh, and if I can do that on any device, I can just walk around when I clear a call. I can use it as a training evolution with my crew. I can change backgrounds. Maybe I want to uh, look at an air photo of that. Um, so I have lots of choices that are just native to that. But what if I uh, came along and I, I realized, oh man, this thing is uh, uh, not here anymore or it's moved. Well, I can click on that feature. This is a living dynamic uh, system. I want to just uh, change the location of that thing. And then I want to say, oh, they moved it down to this door or I was wrong or something before. I say save changes and boom, Bob's your uncle. I've got it. So uh, that's just uh, a quick overview. I can do that as fast as I want. It works for anybody on your department. There's no real limit on how many people can do it at one time. And there's no delay. I'm not waiting for staff. I'm not waiting for the county or the city to do something or, or an inspector. My crews and I can do this. And if I pre-plan this building, immediately that information is available. So if I run a structure fire later there in the shift or somebody else does, all that pre-planning work we've done is there. This will also tell you it's how long it's been since any of these things were inspected. So you can plan accordingly and inspect your things according to your standard operating procedure once a year once every two years more for target hazards whatever you like my name's david glad to be able to show you how to do pre-planning in a couple of minutes today um, i think that you'll find it as easy as that